I'm going to show you my uh, Equinox Snow Coach uh, 685. Um, I made my own wheel kit for it. The wheel kit from Equinox um, is fairly outrageously priced. I don't even know how much it was. It was close to almost a thousand dollars probably getting over the border from Canada. So I figured I'd make my own wheel kit. Uh, the basically doubles the uh, amount of use you can get out of this thing. Um, I live in Minnesota and we do have long winters, but it's nice to use this in the summer as well. I made the uh, wheel kit from a 2,000 pound axle kit that you can buy off a guy on eBay. Uh, his seller name is RNP Carriages. I think the guy's name is Paul. He's a nice guy. I talked to him uh, through some chats sometimes and uh, uh, bought another kit for an ATV wagon that I'm going to make. Pretty heavy duty wagon. Um, and I bought uh, that spindle kit for like, I think it was 115 bucks for both sides. So real reasonable. And then I bought these wheels and tires for um, 50 bucks, couldn't believe it. Uh, they were off of surpluscenter.com. Basically they get a whole bunch of excess surplus items and then they sell them for fairly cheap prices. And these are actually snowblower tires, but they're rated for 825 pounds. So very uh, heavy enough to carry the weight of this thing. Nothing to worry about. The uh, spindles I had to make. I welded into this tube. It's actually a two inch tube. And then this is where the ski would actually have mounted. And I just drilled another hole for lateral other support so it wouldn't twist off. It was basically solid onto that, um, that mount on the A arm. The only thing I really don't like about this is the amount that it sits out from the ATV. It's a lot wider, but um, you just have to be cautious about when driving it. And then I just pull it with a um, what's it, multi-function receiver hitch. So it's got a flat tongue with a hole in it, two-inch receiver ball, and the uh, hook for like pulling out with a chain. Um, and then I gotta do something with this safety chain as well. Uh, you just gotta figure out a better hook system so I can get it hooked to there. I have the lights hooked up to the four-wheeler as well, so the, the brake light will function as it should. So if you're taking it down the trail, you can be seen um, instead of somebody ramming into the back of my kids, you know. So <clears throat> the uh, suspension on this one as well has been revamped. The original suspension was pretty rough, pretty stiff. So those are actually motorcycle shocks off of Kawasaki I got in a salvage yard. Nothing to rust, which would last a long time. Thanks for watching.